All right, I want to turn to our next segment now, immigration. Your running mates have both said that undocumented immigrants who have committed violent crimes should be deported. What would you tell the millions of undocumented immigrants who have not committed violent crimes? Governor Pence. Well, Donald Trump's laid out a plan to end illegal immigration once and for all in this country. We've been talking it to death for 20 years. Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine want to continue the policies of open borders, amnesty, uh, catch and release, sanctuary cities, all the things that are driving, uh, that, are, that are driving wages down in this country, Senator. And also, uh, it, it too often, with criminal aliens in the country, it's bringing heartbreak. But I, 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 Donald Trump has a plan that he laid out in Arizona uh, that, that will deal systematically with illegal immigration, beginning with border security, internal enforcement. It's probably why, for the first time in the history of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, their union actually endorsed Donald Trump as the next president of the United States because they know they need help to enforce the laws of this country. And, and Donald Trump has laid out a priority to remove criminal aliens, remove people that have overstayed their visas. And, and once we have accomplished all of that, which will, which will strengthen our economy, strengthen the rule of law in the country, and make our communities safer once the criminal aliens are out, then we'll deal with those that remain. But I, I, I have to tell you, I just I, I was listening to the avalanche of insults coming out of Senator Kane a minute ago. The, the, these these were said, Donald. He says, he, uh, hold, hold, hold on a second. It's my Governor. time, Senator. Uh, it is. He, in it fact, is. Right. I apologize. Says, this is your two minutes. Thanks. I, I forgive you. Uh, he, he says <laughs> ours is an, an, an insult-driven campaign. Did you all just hear that? Ours is an insult-driven campaign. I mean, to be honest with you, if Donald Trump had said all the things that you said he said in the way you said he said them. He still wouldn't have a fraction of the insults that Hillary Clinton leveled when she said that half of our supporters were a basket of deplorables. It's, it, that she said they were irredeemable. They were not America. I mean, it's extraordinary. And then she laid one after another ism on millions of Americans who believe that we can have a stronger America at home and abroad, who believe we can get this economy moving again, who believe that we can end illegal immigration once and for all. So, Senator, this, this, this uh, in, insult-driven campaign, I mean, you, we're, that's small potatoes compared to Hillary Clinton calling uh, Senator half Kevin, of please. Donald Trump's supporters a H basket of deplorables. H Hillary Clinton said something on the campaign trail, and the very next day she said, you know what, I shouldn't have said that. She look, said she look, shouldn't look, have said half. Hey, Governor, look, this look, is Senator look, Kane's two minutes, please. Look, yeah, that's right, so now we're even. Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 look for Donald Trump apologizing to John McCain for saying he wasn't a hero. Oh, Did Donald Trump apologize for calling women slobs, pigs, dogs, disgusting? She did apologize Don, did, for saying did, Governor, did, 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 did it is Don, his two did, minutes, please. Did, did, did Donald Trump apologize for taking after somebody in a Twitter war and making fun of her weight? Did he apologize for saying African Americans are living in hell? Did he apologize for saying President Obama was not even a citizen of the United States? You will look in vain to see Donald Trump ever taking responsibility for anybody and apologizing. Immigration. There's two plans on the table. Hillary and I believe in comprehensive immigration reform. Donald Trump believes in deportation nation. You got to pick your choice. Hillary and I want a bipartisan reform that will put keeping families together as the top goal. Second, that will um, help focus enforcement efforts on those who are violent. Third, that will do more border control. And fourth, that will provide a path to citizenship for those who work hard, pay taxes, play by the rules, and take criminal background record checks. That's our proposal. Donald Trump proposes to deport 16 million people, 11 million who are here without documents, and both Donald Trump and Mike Pence want to get rid of birthright citizenship. So if you're born here, but your parents don't have documents, they want to eliminate that, that's another four and a half million people. These guys, and Donald Trump has said it, deportation force. They want to go house to house, school to school, business to business, and kick out 16 million people. And I cannot believe, it's nonsense. I cannot believe that Governor Pence would sit here and defend his running mate's claim that we should create a deportation force to, so that they'll all be gone. So Senator, we have a deportation force. It's called Immigrations and Customs Enforcement. And the Union for Immigrations and Customs Enforcement, for the first time in their history, endorsed Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States. So you like America. the 16 million de because, deportation no, that's, Senator, that, that's nonsense. Uh, look. What you just heard is they have a plan for open borders, 
amnesty. That's that goes, Our plan they, is they like Ronald Reagan's plan from 1986. Reform. They call it comprehensive immigration reform on Capitol Hill. We all know the routine. It's amnesty. And you heard one of the last things he mentioned was border security. That's how Washington always plays it. No, so I Governor, always say we're going to do this, for we're going to do that, we'll three years, the years ago, and Governor Pence was against it. Governor, Mr. Ronald Trump Reagan has said, said a nation without borders is not a nation. Donald Trump is committed to restoring the borders of this nation, so Governor, securing our how nation. How would these millions of undocumented immigrants leave? Would they be forcibly removed? Well, I think Donald Trump laid out a series of priorities that doesn't end with border security. It begins with border security. And, and after we secure the border, not only build a wall, but beneath the ground and, and in the air, we do internal enforcement. But he said the focus has to be on criminal aliens. We just, we just had a conversation about law enforcement. We just had a conversation about the, the violence that's besetting our cities. The, the reality is that that there's heartbreak and tragedy that has struck American families because people that came into this country illegally uh, are now involved in criminal enterprise and activity, and we don't have the resources or the will to deport them systematically. Donald Trump has said we're going to move those people out, people who've overstayed their visas, we're going to enforce the law of this country, we're going to strengthen immigrations and customs enforcements with more resources and more personnel to be able to do that. And then Donald Trump has made it clear, once we've done all of those things, that we're going to reform the immigration system that I, we have, I just where have people can Governor come Pence. into this country. I, and I that's, have to... that's the order that you should do it, border security, move it, removing criminal aliens, upholding the law, and then, then, Senator, I'll work with you when you go back to the Senate, I promise you. We'll work with you to reform the immigration I, system. I, I look forward to working together in whatever capacities we serve in, but <laughs> I just want to make it very, very clear that he's trying to fuzz up what Donald Trump has said. When Donald Trump spoke in Phoenix, he looked the audience in the eye and he said, no, we're building the wall and we're deporting everybody. He said, quote, they will all be gone. They will all be gone. And this is one of these ones where you can just go to the tape on it and see what Donald Trump has said. And, and, to, add, to, and, and to add aliens. to it, and to add to it, and to add to it. We are a nation of immigrants. Mike Pence and I both are descended from immigrant families. Some things, you know, maybe weren't said so great about the Irish when they came, but we've, we've, we've done well by absorbing immigrants and it's made our nation stronger. When Donald Trump says Mexicans are rapists and criminals, Mexican immigrants, when Donald Trump says about your judge, a Hoosier judge, he said that Judge Curiel was unqualified unqualified to hear a case because his parents were Mexican, I can't imagine how you could defend that.